Welcome to the EZU video about carrier, insured direct, and agency-led insurance audits. This video is a step-by-step -step training to complete the task of documenting and updating policy details to reflect audit data. We will not be covering every button or feature on the pages you see as we have a mission to complete. To learn about every button or feature, check out the videos we reference throughout the training. In this course, you will learn how to create a discussion for tracking, determine documents required by the carrier to complete the audit, communicate requirements with the policyholder based on carrier guidelines, set a follow-up task to collect updated numbers and documents, share relevant information with the insurer and set a follow-up task, upload audit documentation, create the audit transaction and complete the task, document the audit premium change, and edit the policy details too. Reflect the updated exposure. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. To begin, let's review what an audit is. Insurance audits can be agency-led, carrier-initiated, or insured direct. They're conducted by insurance carriers in order to verify if the estimated risk and exposure used to calculate the premium was correct or if adjustments should be made. Various questionnaires will be used to be sent back to the carrier with required supporting documentation. Commonly, the carrier conducts audits with the insured directly, while other times the carrier will want the agency to conduct the audit. The following video outlines the recommended workflow to ensure accurate documentation of the audit process in easy links. Please keep in mind, this is only for commercial lines and not all policies are auditable. The first objective is to create a discussion for tracking once you've received an audit notification from the carrier. To do this, navigate to the customer's account in Easy Links. When you land on the Customer's Overview tab, click on the Add Note button. To make this discussion easier to track, consider adding a title and label to help keep you organized. Additionally, it's a good idea to associate the policy being audited with the note you create. If your agency admin has created a checklist template for audits, you can add that as well or create your own. Checklists are a great way to list multiple tasks needed for a particular workflow or scenario. Using checklists means you don't have to add a new task each time you complete a step. However, for the sake of this training we will cover how to add new tasks once discussions are created, just in case you don't have a checklist yet. As soon as you've typed in your note, click Save. Now, click on the Activity tab within the customer's account. You should see your new discussion note at the top of the list. You can expand the discussion to view more details by simply clicking on it. To learn more about notes and labels, check out our Creating Notes and Tasks with Agency Workspace video. The second objective is to determine which documents are required by the carrier to complete the audit. Let's discuss a couple scenarios you may encounter. Scenario number one, the carrier may want you, the agent, to conduct the audit with the insured in person or over the phone. Scenario number two, the carrier will conduct the audit by mail or conduct the audit in person. The third objective is to communicate the requirements to the policyholder based on the carrier guidelines. Since audits differ from carrier to carrier and situation to situation, the process and documentation may vary. If your customer receives a questionnaire or carrier-initiated audit, it's up to them to follow through with the carrier. However, the carrier may reach out to you if they have any communication issues with the insured. The fourth objective is to create a follow-up task to collect the updated numbers and documents. You'll also need to determine whether an on-site appointment with the policyholder is necessary. If you deem an on-site appointment necessary, you'll schedule the appointment and add a task to the audit discussion. To create the follow-up task, navigate to the Activity tab within the customer's account. Then, click the Add Note or Add New Note button. In the Discussion Title search bar, type in the title you chose for your audit discussion from Objective Number 1. When it appears in the drop-down, click on it to save the title for your new task and note. The associated policy will automatically be added. To attach a task, click on the Add Task icon, then choose the due date and time. As we did previously, click on the label icon and type in your label name to tie it to the note and task. Now, type in your note and click Save. If you need to create a task for an on-site appointment with the policyholder, follow the same steps we just went through, but change the note accordingly. Don't forget to use the appropriate discussion title and label, then click Save when you're done. 
The fifth objective is to have the insured upload the audit documentation via Client Center in Easy Links. The documentation will then be available on the Documents tab of their account. If you don't have Client Center, you can attach it to the audit discussion in their account. This will also make it available on the Documents tab. Additionally, you can use the Easy Links Outlook plugin or add-in to seamlessly upload documents from your emails into the customer's account. To learn how to use the Outlook plugin and add-in, check out our Easy Links Outlook plugin playlist. To do this in the audit discussion, click on the Add Note button. Once again, type in the discussion title and click on it when it appears. Go ahead and add the label as well. Now, click on the paperclip icon to add attachments. Then, drag and drop files or click inside the gray box to upload them from your computer. If the documents are already on the Customer's Documents tab, you can click the button to attach existing documents. When the documents are attached, type in your note and click Save. Any attachments saved to the discussion will also appear on Customer's Documents tab. The sixth objective is to share all relevant information with the insurer and create a follow-up task. All supporting audit documentation collected should be forwarded to the carrier immediately upon receipt so that the audit premium figures can be determined by the carrier. To create a follow-up task, repeat the steps mentioned earlier. Again, don't forget the discussion title and label, then click Save. Regardless of the type of audit, the final objective is to create an audit transaction and complete the task once the premium change has been determined. Essentially, you'll need to document the audit premium change and edit policy details accordingly to reflect the updated exposure in easy links. For direct bill, an endorsement may be processed on the active policy to reflect the audit amount from the expired policy. However, no changes should be made in easy links until an endorsement is received. To document the audit premium change, click the Add Note button within the customer's account. Then, repeat the same steps as we went through earlier. Add the title discussion, label, note the premium change, and click Save. To edit the policy details, navigate to the Policies tab within the customer's account. On the policy card, click the More Actions icon, hover over Service, and click on Audit. When the audit policy page opens, make any necessary updates, including the audit premium change. Don't forget to select Yes for Generate Invoice, if applicable. When you're finished, click the Change Policy button at the bottom of the page. To complete the task or tasks for the audit discussion, navigate to the Activity tab within the customer's account. Here, find the audit discussion and click on the box to expand it. The tasks will be represented by a green circle. To edit a task, click the wrench icon to the right of a task. When the window appears, change the task status from open to completed, type in your note, and click save. Repeat the process for any other open tasks associated with the audit discussion. That's all for this EZU course on Carrier, Insured Direct, and Agency-led insurance audits and easy links. Thanks for watching.